been? I feel like I haven't seen you in like a really long time. Um, I was sleeping at Jason's house. Oh. Your boyfriend, I assume? Yeah. Yeah, he was. But not anymore. Why did something happen? Uh, no, I just can't be around him lately. You can't be yeah. around him? Yeah, that's what happened. Why? Um, because he's just been, like, overly nice and loving and all the things that one is supposed to like. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I don't. And it's a turn off. That's absolutely horrible. <laughs> I, I have no empathy. Zero empathy for you. There's big, <laughs> way bigger That's issues really nice than the fact that, you know, Jason loves Morgan, you know, I mean, worse things have happened, you know, I mean, I know. people have, like, cleft palates and double chins, and those don't even... Double chins? I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you had, like, a, a cleft palate. Yeah, I mean, you're saying, though, if you had, like, eight chins, <laughs> and you couldn't that's do not, anything about it. But that's not it. a thing. N Okay, really? You've never seen a person with like eight chins and just gone like, mm. and they're not, not even. Sometimes they're not even fat too. Okay. They not just like have no, eight chins. Not really, and that doesn't relate to what I'm talking about. You're becoming a little difficult to talk to. I know, I know. Okay, good. As long as you know. I do understand. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't understand. I do understand. I I honestly feel like if someone was attracted to me, I'd be like, oh my god, you probably need to go to a mental hospital or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> it worries me, though, that you're agreeing with me, I have to admit. Because when you agree with me, you know, I mean, it just, it's not good, because it makes... it makes me feel like you think that about me, like you think that they would need to go for a my diagnosis. God. I need to calm down. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm just taking part in the conversation. Mm hmm I have to go to work soon. Oh. No, you don't like it? No. I don't. My boss is a bitch. Oh, wow. Didn't yeah. you... I think you mentioned once that she had a brother that lived yeah. pretty close to you. Yeah, Lisa, but I don't know what her brother's name is. Oh. Yeah, he's got a white dog. I've, I've seen him walking the dog before. Huh. Yeah. Looks interesting. Hmm, hopefully he's nicer than his sister. <laughs> One could hope. I have to get ready, though. Oh. Alright. Um, you're just, you're very distant. Maybe you don't do well in the morning. I don't know. I don't know if that's what it is, but hopefully. Yeah. Um, are you going to be around later then? I don't think so. No. no. Okay. Um, alright, well, that's all I have to say. Okay. Me too. Have a good day. You too. Fuck. Hey, Lisa. Hey. You're alive. Hallelujah. I've been trying to contact you. I've been texting you for weeks. Why don't you ever respond? Sorry, right. I've been busy. Yeah, well, I've been busy too. Busy taking abuse from all sides. It's like a war zone over here. Sarah actually told me today, Mom, could you please try not to breathe so loudly? I breathe. She would, she would actually like it, I think, if I just stopped breathing altogether. I think maybe my heartbeat was a little too loud for her sensitive ears as well. She hates me. She really hates me. And Ethan said something about, why don't you wear makeup like the other moms? You know, and, and you know, the ironic thing is I am wearing makeup. That's the best part about it. Yeah. Y yeah? What, what is that? That's, that's not a fucking answer. What do you mean, yeah? You know, I, I'm agreeing with you. Well, don't agree with me, Jeremy. Be a brother. Help me out, because I am drowning over here. And I don't mean that figuratively. 
Sarah literally tried to drown me in the pool last week. Sorry, I mean, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I've got to go. All right. Listen, I, I actually have to come over tonight. It's the reason I called in the first place. I need to borrow Clueless. Jack says if I don't get it for him, he's going to kill us all. So, there's that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, see you later. Bye, Lisa. Go to the bathroom. Come on. Shaggy, go. Aw. Your dog is so attractive. Oh, well, thank him. you. Sorry. I, I just went in for the pet. I didn't ask. I never know what the right protocol is on that, you know? No. You can pet him. I didn't, like, intrude on who you are as a human being, did I? No. Go ahead. Pet him. What's, um, what, what is his name? Shaggy. No, that, does, that doesn't work for me, just gonna be honest. What do you mean? Um, just why, you know? Yeah, I know, it's pretty, it's pretty cliche, but, you know, I'm cliche. Everybody's cliche. We're, we're all gonna die soon. That I like. I'm a fan of darkness. Don't know what that means, but, but yeah. I am. Yeah, me too. But yeah, he's, he's attractive. I like him. He's, he's a cute dog. I think, though, that I would go with, a, with attractive over cute, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, he's the kind of dog that, like, suit and tie dog, not like, um, like a shorts and a t-shirt dog, you know? That probably doesn't make sense to you, because it doesn't make sense no, to No, yeah, me. he's definitely one of the best looking dogs I've seen. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if he still had his testicles, like, he'd probably have, like, a lot of puppies and shit. Yeah, I'm glad he's neutered, because he'd be getting more action than I do. That's, um, that's funny. You're, you're funny. Thank you. That's nice of you to say. Don't mention it. I, uh, I like boosting other people's self-esteem, you know? I feel like what I can't do for myself, I should do, like, for other people, you know? Yeah, I, I think, I get what you're saying, but I think most people don't even try to do that, so. Yeah, people are, God, people are terrible. Like, I want to believe believe that people are good because they'll go to like a Trader Joe's with an underground parking structure and people like they wait their turn you know to leave the parking lot so I see that and I'm like wow you know like look at how good we are as people you know like as a whole but then I don't know the second I get out of the parking structure there's a homeless man and he's like cleaning his penis with his own testicles I mean that can't possibly be sanitary I mean there's like soap but it's like that much you know it's, yeah like, in a water bottle I don't know Ugh. I don't know. No one, no one cares, you know, not even me. I mean, I see it. I obviously think it's sad, but I don't care, you know, and it really makes you think and it makes you wonder what this whole thing is about. Yeah, I think we all wonder what it's about, but you seem to be a little more upfront about it than most people. It's because I don't have a filter, you know, that's why I'm always apologizing because I say everything that's on my mind, which is kind of ironic because on the inside I'm like screaming to myself not to utter another word, like, please stop talking, you know, having it right now. <laughs> A moon, by the way. Oh, moon? Yeah, I know it's weird. I'm pretty sure my parents were probably having like an existential crisis when they named me this. I think they thought they brought the moon into their world. Maybe the one in space wouldn't be quite as scary. I don't know. Maybe. And did it? Uh, no. I think they're pretty, still pretty terrified. I don't really think time and space ever stop being scary. I mean, I don't really think anything in life ever does, you know? No, it doesn't. Yeah. So, um, I didn't get your name. 
Not that there's any pressure, because you definitely don't have to share it with me, you know, if you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> um, oh, it's, no, it's Jeremy. No, that, that, no, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> what do you mean, no, that's, that's my name. Yeah, I just, I don't really see it, you know. <laughs> well, it's, it's my name. Yeah, I get that. Maybe I see you more as like a, maybe like a Neil. Neil? I, I hate that name. God, I'm sorry, I'm throwing you off. You should walk Shaggy now. No, it's, it's okay. What is, that sounds weird. What, wait, what? Oh, I was, well, it's fine, but I don't, I don't even need to walk him right now. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go back upstairs. God, I didn't scare you, did I? You don't like never wanna walk him again and fear you might see me, right? Because if that's the case, I mean, I'll move because Shaggy really needs to be, be walked. I mean, it's not healthy, you know? Like, dogs need exercise. <laughs> no, it's, it's not you, I promise, I just. As do human beings, you know? Yeah, no, it's it's fine. It's I, uh, I'm gonna walk him later. I'm I just feel like going upstairs. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, it was nice meeting you, and uh. Yeah, you too. Not lying, remember, because I, I don't have a filter. Well, it was it was nice meeting you too. All right. Well, I'll uh see you around. Yeah. Hey, actually, uh, do you want do you want to come up? What did you say? Do you do you want to come up to my my home? I've been watching the show Enlightened. I, you seem like the kind of person that would like it. I was wondering if you wanted to come upstairs with me. That was a little creepy, to be honest. I mean, I know that's kind of rude, but I mean, I don't know you, and you could, you could be, you know, a lot of things, you know. But I'm sorry, that was rude. But I can't believe you just started watching Enlightened, though. You're kind of the reason that that show was canceled before its time. No, I know. Everything's my fault. And I realized that was creepy, but I was, I was willing to take the chance. You're, uh, you're not gonna rape me though, right? Sorry. I don't know who I am to even say that you have sexual feelings towards me, or at all. I mean, you could be an asexual, you could be a gray A, you could be, like, um, gay, too. That's very possible. I mean, I don't know why. I mean, I think if you were gay, you might be a little cleaner. Not that you're dirty or anything. You know, you're not dirty. Um, or murder me, right? You're not gonna murder me either, because that also wouldn't be that cool, you know? No, I'm not gonna murder you. I'm not gonna chop you up in a little piece. I'm not gonna rape you. I don't think that'd be the neighborly thing to do. Mm-hmm. But that's nice, though, that you don't want to turn my body into some kind of human meatloaf or something, you know? Because it'd be kind of a warm feeling inside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, do you, do you want to come up? Um... It's just like I really don't want to be raped, you know? So it's like, I mean, you seem cool now, but the second we get in there, I don't you know. You never know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if you own like a cheetah print costume. Even if you weren't a rapist and you just had like a cheetah print costume, that would still be like, like really creepy. Uh, but okay. Okay. Is this what say? Yeah, go, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Shay. Should I, uh, should I close the door? Oh yeah, go ahead. Nice, um, nice place. Oh, thank you. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm like getting like a meat smell. Is that meat? Did you cook meat? No, I hope it doesn't smell like meat in here. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that was rude. Do you want me to leave now? No, okay. let's watch the show. Uh, go have a seat. Oh, where, sh where should I sit? Uh, you know what, sit, sit in the room back there. Okay. It's, uh, I never use that room, so yeah, might just, as well use it today. Yeah, I'll just sit there for a little. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait for you. I don't know. Um, hey, uh, do you want any chips? I don't know.
Um, what, what are you doing? I, I thought we were going to watch the show. Yeah, we are. You mean on, on the computer? Yeah. It's not, your HBO Go account isn't like hooked into your TV or anything? No. God, sorry. That, that came off as snobby. It's fine you watch it like this. I'm not judging you or anything. I just think it would be a more enjoyable experience for you watching it bigger. That's all. No, it's fine. I agree with you. I mean, I don't like watching it this way, but it's the best I can do. So, um, what do you do? Sorry. I just, I'm going to, since we're both thinking, I'm just going to put it out here. Um, when you invited me in several, a few minutes ago, um, you know, it was, we were in a moment, and we were like, oh, yay, okay, so, I'm just going to warn you now, over the course, I don't know how much time we're going to spend together, you may want to kick me up now, and I would totally understand, um, so I'm saying that, but over the course of the day, it's probably going to be a little weird, because we don't know each other, you know what I mean? So I'm yeah. not going to happen, and, um, I just want to put it out here, Will. if I may do things and say things that may make you hate me and uh, I just want to apologize now for the things I'm going to say and do and for this that I'm saying and doing right now because that's probably pretty annoying to you um no it's fine well I don't know I don't know why you think I'd be offended by you asking what I do you, for a living oh yeah well yeah I mean also I mean just I think we both know that this is awkward you know what I mean so like we should just be open about that that this yeah. is not a very comfortable situation that we have ourselves in right now um I mean, I like you, you know, but, like, this is weird, you know. So I just want to, like, it's weird. Now we can move on, you know, say it. You know, don't. Actually, that would be really uncomfortable if you said that. But do you know what I mean? Like, we both are aware of it. <sighs> now we can just go on. Okay, yeah. so uh, what do you do? I'm a writer. Of what? Books. Like, fiction, nonfiction? Novels. Wow, that's really cool. Have you written anything I'd know? I don't know. What do you know? Um, well, I think I know a lot, you know? But in reality, I know I'm just an idiot. Yeah, I feel the same way. So, what, what have you written? Well, I wrote this one called In My Mind. Wow, you wrote In My Mind? Yeah. Wow, I love that book, yeah. Really? I know that book, yeah. Oh, you're, thank you. You're Jeremy Starr, right? Yeah. And well, thank also, you. look at our names. It's pretty weird, huh? What, what are the chances that they would correlate so nicely? Maybe it's yeah. a sign. Maybe. Probably not a sign. I think everything's a sign, you know? Mine is a stage name, and it's spelled with two R's, so... It's still pretty weird. I can't yeah. get over it. It's just odd to me that anyone would be excited by my existence, that I drum up that kind of positive response. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I don't know though, I kind of feel like social media has kind of destroyed any of us really caring about anything but celebrities and ourselves, you know? I mean, I like you, you know, but there's a part of me that's always gonna wanna just check out, you know, we need one of Sarah Silverman's tweets. Yeah, that sounds about right. But you, I mean, you're like really talented, huh? Well, I wouldn't say that like at all. But you've written books, like, seriously good books. You don't even know. I mean, it's, like, one of my favorite books, and I don't even, I mean, I don't even like anything. Not even myself. Well, that was a bad example, because I actually hate myself. Sorry, I just, just touched you a little bit. It's okay. I can all leave now. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Okay. I, I don't touch people a lot, or ever, actually, so that was, like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, when you get, like, the touch of another human being, you're like... Wow, I guess we're doing this, like, I'm alive, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that was weird. I guess. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, don't mention it. So, uh, do you have anything else you're working on? I'm sorry for just being so pushy with you. It's just not every day that you meet somebody that you genuinely really admire, you know? Uh, well, I have a few things in the works, I guess. Well, that's really cool. If you ever need anyone to, like, read your drafts or anything, you know, I'm, I'm around, like, all the time. Yeah, that'd be cool. I actually, to be honest, I really only actually write one draft. I mean, my editor fixes the typos and everything, but... You know only geniuses do that? It's true, like, Louis C.K. does that. And when I heard that, I was like, God, as if I didn't love Louis enough already, you know? Yeah, Louis's great. Have you, uh, have you ever seen him live? No, I haven't. He's good. I saw him once at Largo. Oh, God, he was good. 
just those moments when you see a great comedian or any kind of artist, you know, those moments of, like, of oneness and connection where you're finally, like, fully able to relate to the world in some kind of way, you know? I mean, those moments, I feel like, are only really capable of geniuses, and I've had one of those when I read your book, you know? And I don't want to be too forward when I say it, but, because it's an awkward thing to say, especially when you're, like, in close quarters with someone. Well, I wouldn't put myself in a Louis C.K. category. I think, I think you are. Wow, this is, this is great. I mean, I never even thought, I mean, I just invite you in just to watch Enlightened so I didn't have to watch by myself, and now you're calling me a genius. I never thought things would go this well. Yeah, <laughs> look at you. Thanks. It's a good day. Me things too. are looking up. Yeah. But I, I don't really see why you would need my admiration. I mean, don't you get this all the time? No, I don't actually. I think most people don't really care about writers, so they don't really recognize them. I think all really anyone cares about today is getting money. Yeah. Society's really in the toilet. Yeah, and I haven't written a book in like five years, so. No one's really gonna. No one's really looking after me. I'm not really on anyone's radar. I I think you should be. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So why um why haven't you released anything in five years? Well, you know. The common foe of a writer. Writer's block. Yeah. But really, writer's block for five years? It's not a long time. I'm sorry. That was. That was really rude. I'm sorry. Don't... I'll kill myself now. If that's what you want, I'll do it. Because I'm sure if you can speak for everyone else... Because you're a writer, so you just speak for everyone else. So if you want me to kill myself, that means probably most people do. So I'll just do it. I mean, no. I won't really, but... I'll no, I... Leave. No, I understand. I mean, it is a long time. I don't know, I guess I... Because I just hit a wall. Or not even a wall, I guess a skyscraper. Or another universe. I don't know, I just I can't write anything right now. So, is it that you can't write anything? Or you hate everything you write? A little bit of both. I mean, I don't like what I write when I write it, and I usually can't think of anything to write. It's a bad combination. Yeah, it is. So what do you, do you think, like, your ideas are just not what they used to be? I don't know. Maybe, uh... It's just the gift that I had has kind of gotten away from me. I don't think so. I mean, I don't really think a genius can just escape a person and never come back. I mean, I think it would leave in your darkest moments, but I think it would, you know, return to you. That's so. Yeah. And why is that? Because it is us. It is you. You can't just lose a part of yourself, especially when it's the best part you have, you know? Well, yeah, I hope you're right, because if you're not, my life's going to be pretty boring. It's just going to be filled with a bunch of all moles and reruns of the new adventures of old Christine. Really? That's, that's your big vice? Yeah. I know it's stupid, but that's a really entertaining show. Hey, I'm, I'm not putting me down or anything. I, I agree. I go to sleep to Julia Louis-Dreyfus every night. She does have a certain comfort. She really does. So, um... Sorry, I feel weird. Uh, tell me about, tell me about a good day. I know it's random, but just... A good day? Yeah. Okay, a good day. Let me think. All right, well, last week, um, I had a good day, I guess. I mean, nothing went terribly wrong. I woke up, ate breakfast... Did some stuff, had lunch, some more stuff, had dinner. Your life is just all meals. Yeah. Was, well, I was saying there's stuff in between. Well, I, I get it, though, you know. I feel that way. I mean, I was going to say it's a universal feeling, but it's probably definitely not. It's probably just something we feel probably because we both have no friends. How do you know I have no friends? I mean, you're hanging out with me. You know, that's not a big selling point on you having friends. Are you hungry? Because I'm hungry. I could eat. Let's go. You want to go? Get something to eat? Okay. Let's uh, put a rain shack on this enlightened watching. Yeah. It's a good show, though. Yeah, it is. I would, I will, I would watch it. I will definitely finish it.
God, I kept my my window down. Yeah, I can see that. That's not good. Not that anyone would want to steal this car. Yeah, or anything in it. No offense. I mean, not, not necessarily nothing in it. I like the, the doors are good, Fiona, Apple, Nirvana. But I don't think people break into cars for the CD selection. No, not anymore. That's the kind of thief I feel like you would be. Just breaking into cars to steal people's CDs. Yeah, no. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't? But I've thought about it. You've thought about it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There's certain collections. Well. Yeah. So where are we going to go? Uh, I don't know. I was just about to ask you the same thing. Well, I'm actually a vegan, so it's pretty bad, the meal situation, you know? Oh, yeah. They all, all meals really do for me is just kind of stir up anxiety, you know? Because I'm like, oh, God, what am I going to eat, you know? Well, I know of a place we can go. This isn't one of those places that only serves, like, a raspberry almond salad with, like, a tangerine vinaigrette, is it? Because I'm not happy now, and I really don't think that that would help the situation, you know? No, they have real food for you. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure they have veggie burgers. Mm-hmm. That's something. Yeah, but it's it's one of those ones with grains and stuff, so. Yeah. I don't know if that's for you. Uh, well, uh, I'm allergic to soy, so it kind of has to be. Okay. Yeah. God hasn't very been very kind to you, has he? He hasn't. He really hasn't. But thank you for pointing that out. That's good for the self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> I really hope you weren't referring to my looks when you made that comment, because that would be offensive. No, I wasn't. But... Jewish hair looks like it's pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's a tough situation, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. You're so lucky, though, you know. You get to have nice short hair. Men get to have nice short hair. They have that luxury in life. I don't have that. I cut my hair short once just to here, you know. And I ended up looking like a dyke Ann Frank. It wasn't cute. Yeah, I could see that. No, that is not what you're supposed to say. You're supposed to say <laughs> that I have a beautiful feminine face. I could never look dykey, not even if I made a definitive effort. And that I don't resemble Anne Frank in the slightest. Sorry, I, did, I didn't get the script. Yeah, well, I'm going to start writing one. For real, too. I'm never happy with what other people have to say to me. I just want to tell them what to say. But even when I do, I'm never good enough actors to pull it off. I guess that's why they're sad, you know? I'm going to start casting people in my own life, you know? <laughs> I'd like to recast my dreams, to be honest. Like, what are you doing there? Let's get a casting call. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> yeah. Who exactly would you want to would you want to write the script for? Uh, I mean, I kind of write it for my parents. I'll be like, you know, say so you love me. And like, I love you. And I'm like, you know what? That was a really inconvincing performance, you know? was yeah. not impressed by that. I could imagine. Yeah. What about your parents, though? Do you like them? Well, my mom's okay. Once you get over the fact that she's just painfully oblivious. Yeah, most mothers are. But she's not doing too well They check well right out now. or they end up being like really angry, you know? Yeah. Oh, she's not doing well? No. I'm sorry about that. No. It's whatever. And then my dad, he's... It's not whatever, it's horrible. Well, yeah, but you can't do anything about it. Yeah, you're just like, kind of not thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, and my dad's pretty cool, but he's also just like perpetually disappointed, so... Who's he disappointed in? Is he disappointed in you? Yeah. And I don't blame him. I mean, I'm pretty pathetic. I mean, look at me. I'm sad. Single. My apartment smells like meat. Uh, it didn't smell like pork or anything. You know, calm down. It smelled like maybe chicken. Like a well-seasoned chicken. Like it smelled like you knew what you were doing, you know? Not yeah. that you, like, you were new to cooking. So that's good. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Let's get out of here. Probably buckle up. Um, I like you. I like you too. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I really like you. I really like you, too. Yeah, but, you know, I'm sure that I like you more than you like me. I mean, basically, I'm sure I like you more than you like me, you know? Because I, I always seem to be that person in a relationship that likes the other one more, you know? Yeah. I mean, well, also, I don't even like me, so why would I expect anyone else to, to like me, you know? I'm pretty sure we like each other the same. In an ideal world, in a utopia, that would be the case. 
but in this world, I like you more than you like me. It sucks, but unless maybe you're one of those, maybe you have Asperger's and you're not able to show emotion or something. Maybe. It's a good chance. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't know why I'm looking at the menu like, I, like I'm gonna choose something different. I'm getting what I can get, which happens to be one thing, which I probably have to change a little because it probably comes with cheese on it anyway. Yeah, I know. Whenever I look through a menu, it's just it's like yeah. I don't even process anything. That I, I'm I hope at. you realize how many choices you have and how lucky you are. When I open a menu, I go, where's the one thing I can get? Okay. Do you know how long it takes to navigate something this long and to find it? I have to read through every single item, going, no, can't eat that, can't eat that, my life is really sad. It's a very sad thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like having that many choices. So what, you would rather grow up in a time knowing exactly what your future was going to be? Rather know you were going to have to get married to some male or a bride or something? I mean, at least now you could choose what you want your life to be instead, you know, arrange marriages. That happens, still. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... No, I just... I mean, I wouldn't want that, but it would just it would make life easier. Yeah. I, I get what you're saying. It's like, this is all I can do, and I hate my life, and I... No, the, if you only have one option, the other option just becomes suicide. Yeah. Instead of, like, if you have many options, like, let's say you're a gardener, and you're like, oh my god, I want to be a salesman, then you go be a salesman. Instead, if you can only be a gardener, you're just like, I hate gardening, I'm going to kill myself instead. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't know, I just think that would make it, I mean, make it easier. Yeah. Just having less yeah, but, to choose from. You know, just because something's easier, you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's the right way. Well, yeah, I never said that, but... Yeah. Do you remember what we were talking about at all? No, I don't. I feel like you mentioned something about brown napkins. Do you have anything? Oh, yeah, it's just... I don't know. They annoy me. They dye them brown and they think that that looks like they're helping the earth, you know? Uh, you have anything to add to that? No, not really. Oh god, I hate myself. I just hate myself. I'm sorry. I, why do I feel the need to express that to you? You're a good person and I'm putting you through emotional turmoil. Anxiety, it's fine. horror, all the emotions, just because I feel the need to express it when I look at my plate of french fries. Oh my god. The word french fry makes me sad. It just makes me feel sad. Oh, a little sad word. French fry. It reminds me of really poor people who like don't know that you're not supposed to eat french fries. Oh my god. Um, I'm getting that feeling, you know that like really sad feeling? Ugh. Oh, it's awful. I saw a sign once. Um, on a shakies that said happy birthday, Kaylee, I cried for an hour. Just, just fucking bawled. Saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Isn't that sad? Kaylee had to have a birthday at shakies. Oh, oh god. Oh, it makes me so mad. Oh, I feel so bad for her and her family. They don't know. They don't know not to go to shakies, you know? I don't know if I find it that sad. But... You don't think it's sad at all? Maybe that's what she likes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even like be around you right now. You you get how it's sad though, right? I not really. Oh my god. Man, we just we've been talking about me this whole time, talking about other stuff. What's up what's your deal? What's your story? I don't know. I feel like I don't I feel like I seem like I'm an interesting person just because I wear a vest and my hair is a little interesting and if you look at me from certain angles it kind of looks like I have a lazy eye but I'm really not that interesting. Come on, everybody's interesting to some degree. I mean, what's your deal? Uh, well, I mean, I dropped out of high school when I was 13, if that counts. That's interesting. I mean, how do you even drop out of high school when you're not even old enough to be enrolled? 
Um, well, I actually, I skipped two grades, and then I dropped out. Okay. So you don't hear that every day? Yeah, you, uh, really don't, but, yeah, anyway, after that, I took a job at my uncle's t-shirt factory in Oregon, and, uh, yeah. So, how old are you now? No, sorry. I mean, no. I mean, yeah, no. Oh, come on, you can't, you can't just not answer the question. How old are you? I don't, I just don't really release my age, you know, because it just kind of makes people have, like, less and less respect for me. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but we've kind of been brainwashed as a society into hating young people and old people, you know? Well, then, who do we supposedly like? Uh, people 20 to 34. Everyone else is like an infant or a hag. We just hate everyone else who isn't in that few <laughs> years of brain. Oh, really? Yeah, you're ahead. Come on, how old are you? I'm not gonna judge you. So tell me. Uh, honestly, I would really take that back, considering you're probably not gonna be able to keep that promise. No, just come on. Just tell me how old you are. Uh, how, how old are you? I'm old. Oh, stop! You look, you look younger than I do. Well, I don't, but I'll just tell you, I'm 35. See, I told you my age. Um, come on, tell me your age. I don't want to say, say it out loud, because I don't even believe it. I've been living in denial, which people totally don't respect as much as they should. People are like, you shouldn't live in denial, accept yourself. Shut up, living in denial is awesome. It's the best thing I've ever done, is live in denial. I love it, it's such a good time. I'm going to spell it out with a French rhyme. And then you can hate me after that. A little broken one. Really? You're, you're 17? Yeah, unfortunately. It's kind of a drag. You were right when you said it earlier that I'm creepy. I'm like, I'm really creepy. Hey, you know, you shouldn't say that about yourself. No, I mean... No, please, please don't say it. It makes me really uncomfortable when you say things like that. Because then I feel like an asshole. Sorry. It's just... I don't know, is this, is this okay? Uh, honestly? Probably not, no. But, why, why isn't it okay? I don't know, it's inappropriate, it's reminiscent of rape. What, you think I'm a rapist? I, because I'm not one, I swear. Okay, well, I mean, why'd you invite me in? I, I mean, people don't invite people in unless they're going to rape them, let's be honest. I don't know, I just, I thought you were interesting, I don't know, I thought you were smart. I don't, that you were, I don't know, you were of age. I, I don't know, just someone to, to be with. Not, well, not be with, be with, you know, but hang out with, you know? Well, that's, you know, that's nice of you to say, thank you. Why would you even come into a strange man, a strange man's home? I mean, have you ever heard like one of those sex offender stories? Like it always starts out like that. I mean, I mean, I didn't have a white van. I did. I did have a white dog though. I mean, that's pretty close. Um, I I don't know. I mean, although you look pretty young and everything, I guess I could just kind of sense you had an old soul, you know. And I guess I was kind of drawn to it. And a lot of the times, it's really hard to make connections with other people. So when I finally found someone, I was able to sustain for 10 seconds, I wanted to keep talking to you, you know, because a lot of the time, the fleeting existence of other human beings is but a very, very painful thing. Kind of the most painful thing in life, being around other people. It's a reflection of yourself, and as you've seen from talking to me, clearly don't like myself. So, you're saying, it, you're saying it's okay, but it's also not okay? More or less, yeah. I mean, it's abnormal, but at the end of the day, I mean, who really wants to be normal? Yeah, and what really is normal? I mean, it's so subjective. Yeah. This is definitely not normal, though. That, that could be said for sure. So, uh, so why'd you drop out of school? Jesus, you mean my father? 
you actually could be, so I probably shouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> That's some creepy part. Um, okay, um, why? Well, I guess there was, there was a lot of reasons. Uh, one of them being I had like a large, large hatred for it, but not in like a normal way, you know, like, because everybody hates school. Yeah. You know, and it wasn't like that. It wasn't just like a normal hatred. It was more of like a, a mental illness kind of hatred. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that makes sense in any way. But yeah, I just, I couldn't really handle people telling me what to do. Not that everything needs to be done, you know, my way. I'm not a psychopath. Although, I may be. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. That was just very difficult. Like, there's no explanation of why things need to be done that way. They're just like, oh, it does. And I just, it just wasn't the right way for me. Yeah, I get what you mean. you lose your virginity. Hey, this wasn't covered in the, <laughs> the pre-show interviews. Yeah, yeah, you're not, you're not agreeing to that. Have you ever urinated blood? No. I, I haven't. I, ha I would hope not. I thought I did once. You thought? I ate a bunch of beets. Oh, I yeah. It was red. Yeah, I had, um, I used to drink, like, beet juice, and I was, like, a pink, pink tone, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's scary. It is. It's scary. No one, I was dying. Yeah, no one wants to die. No one wants to die. And we think we do. We're like, I should just commit suicide. But in reality, when it's all over, you don't. Yeah. I think it's a little too deep for a Conan O'Brien interview. You know, I don't think he would really delve to that kind of surfaces. Yeah. Although he should. Yeah. I think so. He does do that serious jibber jabber thing, where he has like serious conversations. Oh yeah, that's cool. What would you talk about if you had a talk show? I don't know. I never want one. You never want one? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't know what should I ask you. Have you ever had genital warts? That's, wow, that was probably shouldn't have I don't want to know the answer to that. Although I kind of do, for some reason. You haven't, right? No. Oh my god, I don't know if I believe you. Conan should ask stuff like that. Yeah, you should. Yeah. Hi, oh, D Johnny, we love having you on the show. Mr. Depp, have you ever had Johnny Awards? <laughs> he would be like, yes, I have, yeah. a lot of times. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go. Oh my god, I can't get out of the chair. I'm always the person who can't get out of the chair. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Hey, it's Jeremy. How you doing, Jeremy? Hello there. Hi. How so are you? you brought a young friend with you? Yeah. Hi. This is, this is Moon. This is Mark. Hello. Is he holding you against your will? Uh, not so far, although... There's no amber alerts or anything? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Let me throw some clothes on There's still on, time, though. Yeah, that, that could be a good idea. Cause... I'm the Unabomber, by the way. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, here, hold on a second. Please don't rape and murder me. Don't worry, I won't. Oh, that wasn't very convincing. It wasn't meant to be. Uh. Hey, Mark. Hello. Great seeing you. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Casa Skippy. <laughs> the house. Yeah, I, I knew you. That's, that's where that I know isn't. you're from. 
Family ties. No, stop it. You don't know me for family ties. You, you, you told her to say that because there's nobody no, under no. the age of 37 that's ever even cares or seen that show. No, I, I, yeah, I've seen it. She could have seen it. Nick at Night or they, they TV play it Land sometimes. or something. Uh, apparently no. you don't watch... Uh, they, have they used to play reruns like a few years ago. Oh. They used to play reruns like a few years ago when I saw some episodes. Cool. It's like you were in like... Newman to Seinfeld, you were the family time. There you go, you're right on it. Yeah, and if yeah. you play your cards right, you can make it big in Hollywood and own a, a, a non-house as well. I could be a Newman. <laughs> I don't, I've always wanted to be a Newman. Well, I am a Newman, and uh, it's it's just fine, I guess. <laughs> I don't mind. So we're just going to check out your view. That's yes, cool. that's what it's for. Checking out, enjoy it. All right, don't, thank you. Don't enjoy it too much. I won't. Because the police are on their way right now. You're yeah, aging gracefully. I don't know why. I Thank said you that. very much. <laughs> you look, you Thank look you. Good. All right, good to meet you. Mark. So, uh, how do you how do you know him? Oh, I saw him at a show. I was in Tampa Bay visiting my cousin. Huh? And yeah, I just talked to him after the show. We hit it off. And we've been friends ever since. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I don't think I've ever made a friend. I don't know why I said that, but listening to that, I've never made a friend like that before. Yeah, I think that's probably the only time I ever have, too. <laughs> nice. This is kind of one of those silent moments that I, I feel like I have to ruin. I feel like I have to fill it, you know? Something that's horrible for me. See, I don't feel like I need to fill this at all. I guess you're just better than me, then. I guess that's, that's, probably, that's probably. probably just where the, the generation's split in half, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it why you'd want to fill this. I mean, to me, this is just one of the few things in life that's nice, you know? Just taking in the view. I don't know, it's kind of scary, you know? Being alone with your thoughts. It's, it's a very scary thing. You don't know what you're going to find out about yourself. Yeah. But I think it can kind of make you a better person, though. But would you say that you're a happy person? Shit, fuck me. I, I know I shouldn't have asked you that because you're definitely not a happy person. I mean, look at you. You, you look like you have Asperger's and you can't look people in the eye. You show no emotions at all and you just hate yourself. Oh my God, why would I say that to you? I'm, just, I'm, such, a, I'm such a shitty person. I don't know why I brought that up. I'm really sorry. You're not, you're not a bad person or anything. I like you fine, you know. I think you're a cool guy. No, it, it's fine. No, I mean, I don't really think anybody's happy. I mean, I think if you're lucky, you get like three happy years. And then after that, you're just left with this lurking feeling of just homesickness. What if, what if you're home, though? <laughs> then you're fucked. So I'm um, fucked? Yeah. But wh why aren't you happy? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I clearly am different than most people, and that's hard. You know, it's hard to take your own path. People end up looking down on you and you end up crying into your vegan mac and cheese. It's not a fun event. Yeah, but once you get older, you realize that the chance of finding someone that'll cry into their metaphoric vegan mac and cheese, it's gone. That wasn't a metaphor. I actually do that, you know, probably like twice a week, which makes it even sadder that I eat vegan mac and cheese that much. Yeah, well, I'm saying is, you know, the person that you thought you'd be, and the person that you thought you'd be with, it's, it's gone, and then you're just left with a broken heart. We aren't, we aren't different, you know. Well, I, I'm not saying we're that different. But it was implied, you know, you think that you're older, that you've seen things, but, but I've seen things too. You know, one day in this generation is horrifying enough to last a lifetime. Here we go. All right, let's take off. Hey, so I just wondering, do you do you ever get kind of scared that you know you're never gonna have those years? Um, I, I sorry, I don't really know what you're talking about. Could you could you maybe like expand on that a little? Cause I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure what you're saying. You know, like, when you're a teenager and you, just, you don't really have that much to worry about and you can just 
have fun. Well, the only thing you have to do is go to school. You know? Um, I mean, I, I guess I understand what you're saying, but I'm just not a person that's cut out for that kind of thing. I mean, I think my life would be a lot easier if I were, but I'm not. No, you're, you're, you're definitely designed for it. I mean, everybody is. Because when you don't, when you don't live it up in high school, you end up regretting it. And from what I've seen, people that I knew that did live it up in high school, they still regret it as well. I mean, but either way, but especially if you don't live it up, it's just going to be in the back of your mind, you know, you're just going to be wishing uh, that. I mean, again, I understand what you're saying, but I don't, there's just, I can't think of a scenario where I'd just be able to become one of my peers. I mean, I, I can't get into one direction. Just can't do it. I mean, but not, it's not even that. I mean, I have no desire for drug use or drinking or, you know, weird sexual escapades with kids with dirty fingernails. I mean, it's just, just not into it. I mean, will I regret that? Maybe, but I mean, I guess it's a chance I'm willing to take right, right now. I get what you're saying, but are you sad? Do you feel satisfied at all, like with where you're at right now? I don't know if I would say satisfied, but I know that the other alternative is just worse, you know. So I mean, I'm not fully okay with it, but I know that I have to be. So I'm, you know, I get yeah. through the day. I'm not really too convinced by that answer, to be honest. I don't know, maybe you're just not easily convinced. I mean, I've only known you, like, what, six hours or something? Yeah, that, I mean, that could be true, yeah. Hey, um, what's down there? There's a, there's a tree. There's some stairs. That sounds cool. Could we go down there? Sounds nice. Sure. Lead the way. So what now? I don't know. At all. To the point where it's a little scary how much I don't know, you know? Yeah. But, I don't know. What do you think? I said no a lot. I'm just saying that. I just said that like 7,000 times. It's, where, it's like when you see how many times you see, say like and you realize it's... Yeah, that can be disturbing. Yeah, it's really disturbing. Mm -hmm. That you probably don't have that problem. I try. I try to control the amount of times I say like. You try. You're aware of it all the time. Yeah. Would you say you're an aware person? Yeah. Well, w define aware. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think that there's definitely aware people. Then I think that there's people who are aware of their awareness, and then I think just like. Um, like, most people just aren't really aware at all, you know? Yeah. I'd say I'm aware. Aware? But yeah. not, not aware of your awareness at all? No. Lucky you, apparently. Yeah, apparently. You, uh, want to know the secret? Um, uh, not really. Secrets are kind of scary. Yeah, I know what you mean. Every time someone says they have a secret, I'm like, oh, what do you know about me? Like, how, how could they possibly even know anything about me, you know? <laughs> like, why would they know a secret about me that I don't know? For some reason, I think that they have information I don't have about me. I don't know. Probably just being a narcissist combined with extreme anxiety. If you feel that way, why did you want to tell me a secret? <laughs> I don't know, because I had a secret. God, why are we even saying... Are we even saying secret? Sounds so juvenile. I mean, what are we, a couple of 12 year olds? I was kind of recently. I mean, I still remember it, you know? I mean, that's how recent it was. Like, I remember the thoughts and the problems that I had at 12. Yeah, I keep on, I keep on forgetting that you're pretty much a child. It keeps on slipping my mind. Yeah, it's 
kind of drag, I gotta admit. I always say, like, the worst things people could say about me are just kind of facts about myself, you know? You're 17. Well, why do you have to say things that are hurtful to other people? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, I don't like when people mention my age either. Uh, what was that? What was that secret you were gonna say, though? Honestly, I, I just kind of feel like the moment's passed. Oh, come on. You can't do that. Okay, well, honestly, the secret's nothing. It's not even a secret. It's just, like, weird narcissism that's not even interesting. I don't even know why I would feel the need to express it. All I was going to say was just, like, um, I, like, I, I forced myself to cry for some reason. And I know it sounds really weird. I don't really understand it either. But when I'm able to do it, I just feel really accomplished for some reason. And I, I realize it's psychotic, but it's, like, the only thing that makes me realize that my emotions are still there and that I'm still alive and stuff. Yes, I don't really know what that is, but I think there might be something wrong with me. Okay, that's... What, what was that? You're just being ridiculous. So I deserve to be ditched? What was that? Yeah, I mean, you should know that that does not matter. At all. You should know that there's a lot worse in this world than you. That's a good point, but what do you think about what I just said? You think that that's an issue? Well, no, I don't. I think it's, if anything, it's like a minor OCD, you know? It doesn't matter. And plus, if you try and look, too, if you try and look into it too much, you can just find something that you don't even want to know. Yeah, that is true. Well, come on, little lady. Let's go inside. Really, little lady? Are we doing that? Yeah, I don't I don't get the chance to say that too often. Okay. Why aren't you married? Why aren't you married? Stop it. What? Stop turning questions on me like that. If I wanted to know my answer, I would know my answer, but I want to know your answer. So I'm asking you. Sorry. It's fine. But I'm not married because of obvious reasons regarding my age and because, I mean, I've never really experienced any kind of romance before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are, those are good reasons. Yeah. But <clears throat> what about you, since I did ask you to begin with? Mm, the same, I guess. Nobody loves me. I don't love anybody. And I'm not just going to marry some stranger just to avoid loneliness and then end up having to pay a bunch of money on a divorce. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Can I ask you something? You can ask. I may not have the answer. I probably won't. How do you... How do you live... Like the way you are. I mean, you seem so different from the rest of what would be your peers. Is it hard for you to live like this? I find that to be a very obnoxious question. I, I don't really know why you would ask me that. I mean, you're an intelligent person. You're clearly an observer if you're a writer. I think you know the answer to that. So I don't really know why you would ask that. I'm so, I, sorry, I was just, I was just curious. I understand that you're curious, and we're all curious. I mean, most a lot of drug addicts are like, no, I'm curious. Well, they end up being addicted to heroin their whole life because they were curious. But, I mean, most of us just really aren't narcissistic enough to let our curiosity get in the way of our decency. Sorry, I, I didn't think it was so offensive. It, it's not offensive. I'm just offended very easily. Well, well there's, there's a lot of reasons to be offended. But, yeah, to answer your question, it's very difficult for me. I mean, I don't feel like that's news to you. Obviously, it's hard for me. Um, yeah, I mean, I hate, I hate living like this. It sucks. But maybe friends will come eventually. I mean. Yeah, I think they'll come. 
it's nice for you to say. I mean, you might, <laughs> you're probably full of shit, but it's nice. I try my best. Do you? Really? Well, what do you... Do you, no, do you really, uh... Do you really try to be a good person? Um, I don't... I don't not make an attempt. I wouldn't really say that that's the same thing as making an attempt. But I'm not, I'm not saying it either. So are you a bad person? I don't know, what do you, what do you constitute as a bad person? Someone who knows that they could be better, but for some reason chooses not to? Do you think that you fall under that category? Sure, I... I could be better. But... I don't think that's abnormal, and... I think everyone could be better. I don't... God, it's, it's pissing me off! Why can't you just feel something? I do feel something. I feel really fucking uncomfortable with you hounding me with all these questions. That's fine. Why did, couldn't you just say that? <laughs> I would have I would have preferred you to just fucking yell at me, but you won't yell at me. <laughs> maybe you're maybe you're the bad person in this situation. I fucking am. I definitely am. I'm a shitty human being and I'm aware of it, but I'm working on it and I'm only 17. You're a man. You're a human being now. 35, that's a human being. In Jewish culture, I've only been a person for four years. So, you've been a person a long time. Not that long, but longer than me. That's all I'm saying. And I know I'm making you uncomfortable, and I kind of get a rush off that, and it's weird, and there's probably something wrong with me, but I just, I don't like... I don't like talking to people who just are completely one-dimensional. It's good if you feel something that's weird or bad because it means that you're still alive. You know, when you die, that's it. You're not gonna get to have, be angry or be sad anymore. And those things are good. They, they, anger and sadness and pain, they make the most amazing creativity and the most amazing art. You know, art doesn't come from being happy. Happy people never create anything that's well, interesting. I'm not saying that I'm happy. Yeah, I know, but you're just... You're emotionless. Were you medicated a lot? As a child? No. Damn it, I thought that was going to explain everything. I, I've heard stories about Xanax and then, you know, all this med... Like Zoloft and then your sex drive. Like, you don't have a sex drive anymore and stuff like that. So you're just uncomfortable, that's all you feel? Yeah, fuck, I don't know, I don't know what you're trying to get at with this, but... You know, I've, I've had enough, why don't we just move on with the conversation? <laughs> wow, you actually scared me. I feel like an asshole now. And I am one. God, I suck. Did I upset you? Yeah, it's pathetic. See, maybe... See, maybe you're not the bad person. Maybe I'm just the bad person because I'm the one who's sitting here and watching a grown man cry, and yet I feel very detached from it. Well, physically, yes, I'm a grown man, but... Mentally, emotionally, I'm still the same as I was when I was 25. Because I think everyone just gets to an age where they just stop maturing. That was my age. For you, it kind of looks like. It kind of seems like it was 13, which is pretty early. So now you're just going to have to sit around in life just waiting. For what? For everyone to catch up. Killing time. Just killing time. Most of us are. Yeah, but... I actually really don't see what we're waiting for, you know? I mean, I always feel in life like I'm getting somewhere, like I'm going somewhere, and then every time I get to there, like get to that point, I still have that feeling. And I, I really would just like to get there already. 
Does that ever go away? No, it doesn't. There's, you know, there's certain moments in life where lying is the best choice. That was one of those moments. Yeah. How funny would it be if all we needed to heal the world was just like an etiquette class? It'd be pretty funny. Like the first rule is just like, don't be an asshole. And then the second rule and the third one are just, are just like, really don't. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> that's, pretty much, that's pretty much all you need to know. Yeah. And then the fourth rule is like, if you're still an asshole, then Jesus, you're a fucking asshole. Like, <laughs> that's all that needs to be said. But, I don't know. Um... Where's Shaggy? Oh, uh, he's probably in my room. I think he's... got severe social anxiety or something. Is that... you guys have that in common? Most of the time. Shit, who's that? Ah, oh, shit. It's Lisa. I completely forgot that she was coming over. Oh, who... who was Lisa? Uh, my sister. Your sister? You like her? What? Mixed. That's a loaded question. I have mixed feelings. Yeah. Why, why did she come over? She's, uh, she's borrowing Clueless. Oh, good, good choice. Uh, they good took, yeah, they took it off of Netflix, I think, recently. Yeah. And it seems like they always take all the good stuff off. You know, whenever I want to watch something that I saw was on there a day ago, if I want to watch it, it's not there anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just going to warn you. This is... Probably gonna be really, really awkward. Okay, good to know. Hey. Hey, I texted you to tell you I was coming over, but you didn't answer. Shocker. Sorry, sometimes, sometimes I just can't. Yeah, well, who can? Hi, who are you? Hi. Who's this? I'm Moon. My name is. Moon. You're a balloon? No, my name is Moon. Like, like a moon. In the sky. Oh, that's that's really weird. Did your parents not have one of those baby naming books? There's only like five million of them. Yeah, it's it's a pretty weird name. I mean, I mean, what's weird and what isn't weird? I mean, I don't think that you're well. This is definitely weird. I mean, um, how old are you? You look really young. What do you? What do you? How do you even know Jeremy? Oh God, no, Jeremy, you're not a pedophile, right? No. Because as we speak, an IV is dripping fluid through our mother's veins, and if you tell her that you are a rapist pedophile, then that's... <laughs> that's I'm, not, I'm not a rapist pedophile. This is not funny. Yeah, he hasn't well, raped me. I'm not one. Yeah, I mean, he could, so I'm not going to vouch for him fully. Okay, then who, who is this person? Why, why am I even calling her a person? She's not even a person. She's not even past the larval stage yet. Um, I'm Morgan's roommate. Who's Morgan? What are you even saying to me? Um... Morgan Berry. She she works for you actually. Oh, oh God. Yeah. Oh, I feel bad for you. That she's one. She's not that a, bad. She's, she's got a temper like a rabid animal. She, I mean, she has her days. But she's she's not too bad. Uh, yeah. So um, wait. What? I still don't understand what what you're doing here at, at night. Um. Well, he just he invited me in earlier, and I just. I mean, I haven't really left yet, I guess. Invited her in? Why would you invite her in? Look at her. <sighs> okay. Are you guys sure that there's nothing sexual going on here? Because I have enough shit going on in my own life. I really do not have the time or the energy to make sure you become a registered sex offender and one of those red dots on one of those maps that they give to the neighbors. Yeah, I've seen those. No, they just end up on the streets anyways. No, nothing, nothing's going on. I mean, that... I feel like, yeah, that would probably just be too easy, you know? Yeah. What? Yeah, I mean, when something sexual happens, it's just easier in that way. It's harder to... You mean when something be. happens right away? Yeah, it's harder to just kind of be with somebody. Without that. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the bathroom. Good way to make an exit. Did 
he didn't do anything to you, right? Because if he did, you can tell me and I just won't believe you and I'll kick you out. Sounds very appealing offer, but um, no, he didn't do anything to me. I mean, thank God he didn't too, because no one would believe me anyways. And quite honestly, what rape victim even has the energy to have to prove it to everyone? They have to get evidence, like a case file. They've just been raped. It's really a drag. So what, what is this then? I don't know, I mean, hanging out, he okay. needs... He's 35. Yeah. He's an adult. You're not an adult. Yeah. What, what's That's going on? a nice on? way of phrasing it. I don't know, I mean, I guess he kind of needs my admiration in his life. Clearly things aren't very, really going very well. I mean, have you seen that beard? It just, it grows by the yeah. second. And, you know, I mean, I just kind of need someone to just get me in some way. You know? Which is tough. That's a tough order because, I mean, I don't get me. I mean, anyone who does, it's like... Wait, how, how does he do that when he can't even help his own sister when she desperately needs it? I don't know. He just does. It's nice. Sibling relationships is hard. Are you sexually attracted to him, or are you not even old enough to have that yet? Sorry, that, that kind of seemed like it came out of nowhere a little bit, but... I get what you mean, though. I know I know why you'd ask that. Mm -hmm. Um, am I attracted? That's the question. Yeah, I, I got that. Um, I don't know. I mean, for attraction, for me, it's like I always seem to be attracted to people in my head, but, but never in actuality. So I don't know. In my head, maybe I am, but in reality, I don't know if I actually feel anything. Then again, though, if he said he wanted to have sex with me, I'd probably have sex with him. So there's that. But that, that could just be because I'm naive. It's great. time in there? Oh yeah. The bathroom's so nice. I cannot deal with this. I have enough shit in my own life. Right now I have one child with a patch over his eye and another one who thinks she has mesothelioma. So. Oh, wait. I think it's, it's philioma? Is it philioma? You know, that's really not the issue Is it here. I, I just need to. I don't know. Just, you don't know? Yeah. You haven't okay. seen the commercials that's, for mesothelioma? I just know it's that asbestos thing. I, I, think it's, I think it's philioma. Okay, well, I'm just going to take this clueless video so that the other one doesn't murder us all. And I guess that's. Yeah. Goodbye, I guess. Yeah. Well, it was good meeting you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the movie. It's, good, it's a good movie. It's a good flip. I like it. Yeah, I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Good night, right. have, have a nice time. Drive safely. You yeah. won't want your kids to live without a mother. So what'd you guys talk about? By the way, right now, after seeing her, I just like you so much more now. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've seen another person <laughs> outside of us, and I'm just like, God, you're great, you know? Just like... Mm, God, it could be such a warm little feeling. I don't. What, what do you mean? I don't know. I, I guess for a while it just kind of seemed like it was just, just us. I just have to say though, it's like it feels safer, you know, just two-person bubble. I agree. Yeah, but I I don't know though. I feel like it's kind of bad when things feel safe. You know, it means that you aren't taking enough risks in your life. Yeah. Well, I'm definitely taking a risk just hanging out with you. I mean, if I just accidentally rub up against you, I could be taken the wrong way and I could go to jail. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put you away. I want you to know that, you know? I mean, I think I would be way too flattered to ever make a move like that, you know? F flattered that I molested you? Yeah, very flattered. Okay. God, God, I'm a shitty person. Like, what kind of person says that, that they're flattered that they were molested? <laughs> um, what time is it? Time for you to get a watch. I have one, and I could have just looked at it. Um, 
I will look at it now. It's nine. Yeah. It's late. For some people. I'm one of those people. Yeah. But for others, I guess, things are just beginning. Like, yeah. like me. My life actually is just beginning, which is insane because I feel like I've been alive such a long, but also such a short amount of time. Yeah, I felt the same way. So much age. bad shit has happened. It's like, wow, they could really pack it in in such a short amount of time, you know? <laughs> really jam pack it in there. Have I overstayed my welcome yet, though? Just about. Yeah, I thought so. That's all right. I'm gonna leave now, anyways. I'm no, I'm really gonna leave. I know it looks really weird when I get out of a chair. It's like, are you having a seizure? Are you epileptic? But no, I'm actually leaving. You're just gonna leave like you can't just leave like that. Well, I mean, I, you can walk me out if you want. I'll walk you I out. mean, you don't have to, but if you would like. It's no, okay. I always, I always walk my guests. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. Which door are we going with? This one. This one. All right. All right, well, I'll see you around. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's so weird. You know, I mean, I spent the whole day with you, and yet you just, you seem so unfamiliar to me, and you, I still feel like I don't know you. Yeah, I mean, you can only really know someone so well, so. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll see ya. Maybe walking your dog again? I mean, I, I feel that like could a, very well be. I feel like it would be kind of weird for us to make set plans. Exactly. Yeah. So. I don't know. Should, should we hug or something? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that would be kind of weird. I mean, it's not a skill of mine. I've been told I'm actually very bad at it, which I think hurt my self-esteem and other sexual things along the way, which is probably too much information only known each other a day, but, you know, I mean, I still think it might be nice, you know, official. It makes, it makes a goodbye official, you know? Yeah. It would make me uncomfortable, but I think I feel like it's a step maybe that I need to take as a person. Yeah. Well, if you want to. Okay. All right. God, I'm making you uncomfortable. No, I'm no, making, no. Because I'm making me uncomfortable. Bring it in. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, that was weird. I'm just going to be honest. It wasn't. It was fine. Don't... I, I really love self-esteem. I'm realizing. It's fine. Don't well, worry about I, not, it. Not like I haven't realized it before, obviously. I mean, this isn't a first. But, I mean, I know, I know we like to, like, fuck around and stuff, but I'm just thinking, like, I really need to know that things are going to get better for me, so can you lie to me or something? Because I feel like that would make me feel a lot better about my situation. Well, I mean, things don't get better for everybody, but I think I think they'll get better for you. Are you fucking with me? Cause no. Are you, you really? No, I believe that, yeah. Alright. Well, this is weird. I'm, I'm really sorry I'm so young. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Don't apologize for something you can't control. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but it just ruins things, you know? No, it's it's all good. All right. Well, I'm going to walk away now. I'd prefer you didn't watch and analyze my gait. Okay. All right.
How's it going? Oh, hi. How are you? I haven't seen you in a what, like two months? Something like yeah, something like that. It's been a while. Yeah. How you been? Um. You know, I mean, I'm not great, obviously, but su the suicide feeling, I think, has passed for the moment. That's good. <laughs> Flowed through me. Well, uh, I've actually, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Uh, oh. I sent you a Facebook friend request. Did you get that? I didn't. You probably, you probably sent it before I deleted the account. Sorry about that. Oh, no, that's fine. I was just trying to get a hold of you because uh, I finished my book. Mm -hmm. and I was, I was wondering if you wanted to read it. Wow, um, mm. yeah, I would like to, but I mean, really, you want me to read it? That's pretty weird. Yeah, I just, I'd like to get a second opinion, and... I'm the go-to now, wow. I think your, highly your of life, yours, yeah. Your life must have gotten pretty sad if I'm the go-to. <laughs> that was rude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fucking asshole. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, well, do you, uh, do you want to come up? And... Um, yeah. Yeah, it's because weird that I'm, I'm running into you because I've actually been thinking about you a lot since since we hung out that one. one oh, time. really? Yeah. Good things, I hope. Yeah, well, I mean, in my mind, they're good things, but in someone else's mind, they could be like, Oh my God, what is that, you know? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, we can go up, I can give you the copy, and uh, I also, I've learned how to make an Arnold Palmer. Have you? Pretty darn wow. well, yeah. Is that, is that what men your age are doing these days? They're making Arnold Palmers when they should be starting families and whatnot? Yeah, you finish a book, you start making Arnold Palmers. Oh, that's how it goes. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So. You want to go? Okay, yeah. All right, I mean, let's... I, I was waiting for you, and <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? You know, which is a question I ask myself a lot in life. What am I doing? Same which thing. I don't know is why that is relevant, but okay. Can I ask you something? Sure. Um, it's kind of an uncomfortable question, but I'm full of uncomfortable questions, so I'm just going to go for it. Um, do you... Would you say that you find me sexually attractive in any way? Uh. Sorry, I know it's kind of putting you on the spot a little. But I, I do want to hear what your answer is. Oh, well, I mean... Yeah, but... Really? Well, I I mean, I don't know. When I first met you, I didn't know how old you were. And, and you thought I was attractive? Yeah. Wow. But, sorry, no, just... I'm, I'm very flattered because that doesn't happen a lot, you know? Like, or ever. So, um, hearing that, you know, sparks something inside of me, you know, and I think we should just... Let it happen. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. <laughs> I've never gone for someone's picky before. <laughs> All right. What? You know? Like, what, what are you? What are you doing? <laughs> wow, that, that goes easy. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. I just, if you're interested in me and I'm interested in you, why can't we just mate? Not that I want to mate, but you know. Well, you're 17 years old. That's a great point, except for the fact that I'm not anymore. So now would be like a really good time for us to... You know what I'm saying? When did you turn 18? Uh, about two weeks ago. Turned 18. Oh, stop. Don't, you're so, just, just do it. No one's gonna, you're not gonna get arrested. I don't want to pressure you. You know, I don't want to pressure you. If you're not interested, it's fine. But I'm just saying if you are interested, then this would probably be the time to act on those feelings. It would make me um, uncomfortable, sure, 
I'd, prob <laughs> I'd probably want to die the whole time. Sure. Um, but, you know, people do that. Sex. It's something people do. A lot. You know, every person since the beginning of time. Adam and Eve. You know, they, they did it. That's how you and I are here. Um, I am having a weird thought about how we're related if we go back far enough, which is probably a really not good thought to have right now, because that would <laughs> mean incest. But that's probably, I have like an OCD thing that I can't always turn off. And I'm sorry. You, you make the decision. You make the call. Ball's in your court. You know, you do what you want to do. Not forcing you. Um, although I did wear earrings today, you know, and I really wouldn't like those to go to waste, so... These people, they walk around like they don't give a shit. These people, they settle down before the timing's right. Oh, these people, they sit around and act like they are better than me. But away. Just because you're 